What's going on in your head? You knew this was coming. Come on. <laughs> What's going on in your head? I, I'm, I, came, I come here. I don't think. shake so much. Why are you shaking? What's going on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't hide it with a smile. Own it. Own it. Don't hide. This is for everyone here. The one environment, if you've learned anything from my contents, where you just drop this front. Drop it at the door. You don't have to pretend. This isn't school. This isn't your job. You don't have to be so cool. You don't have to impress anyone else here. Guess what? They're in the same room as you. They're here for the same thing as who? You. 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 Really? <laughs> the same thing as who? You. 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 God. You Swiss. You poor Swiss. And I can say it because I'm Swiss too. I can say it. So drop it, drop it at the door. You're not, I'm not your teacher, I'm not your parents, nothing's gonna happen. Literally, the, if I do put pressure on you, the only reason is to help you. There's no other reason. So I'm putting some pressure and little technique in terms of self-help here, it's called devalidating the fake front. So what does that mean? And we'll get back to you, don't worry. <laughs> it means that most people, they put on this fake front to give validation. And we'll talk about people pleasing, don't worry. Meaning, if I act this way, people will like me. They like the fake me, not the real me. Do you like me? Oh, not the real me. And you're so used to only getting validation when you're being someone that you're not. And what does that condition you to do? Continue to be someone that you're not. Well, guess what? In an environment like this, we're doing a 180. I will devalidate that fake front. I will not validate it. But what will I validate? Realness and authenticity. And what it's gonna do for you is it's gonna tip that seesaw where you can try to be fake, like, ha ha, the PI, everything's fine. We're here for the shh, 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 shh. <laughs> and I will devalidate it to the point where it will be more painful for you to be fake than real. And that's what we're doing here. This is the first step. It's external. We're gonna go a lot deeper. But drop it all. What's going on inside? All is good. We're all on the same team. Yeah, so if I have to say, now uh, I know everyone is looking at me. Oh, yeah. Well, let's stand up. Have a look at them, too. Stand up, stand up. Have a look at them. Own it. Say, if everyone's looking at you, look at them, too. Take a little, hey. All is good. Give them a hand. Come on. Well, first, how does it feel to be looked at, first of all, and acknowledged for who you are? The, the fear is if I am really myself, I, I fear I can lose control. Kind of control. How so? What would happen I, if you did? You know, if I say some stupid things and uh, not be who I uh, want wish, to be. <laughs> want to be, but also wish people will see me. I don't want people to see me as I think I will be like, stupid. Okay. Hey, great job with the honesty. Now, you can have a seat. We're going to talk, and we will get back to you, but give him a hand. Come on, everyone. <laughs> so let's talk about this a little bit. This is the strategy for most. You have this image of who you want to be and how you want to be perceived, right? Everyone have an image like that? Raise your hand if so, right? Publicly going out, it's like you leave your door, it's like, here we go, <laughs> like that. And then as soon as you get home, things change completely, right? There's even the memes in terms of dates where everyone on a date is like, I'll have the salad, please. And then as soon as you're home, you're like fries, pizza, just <laughs> like totally different. Now, let's just say you were able to pull it off. Think about it, all of you. You're able to pull off this perfect front where everyone sees you a certain way and they all approve. Like, say you did it perfectly up here up front and everyone's like, oh, what's your name? Manu. Manu, it's like, oh, Manu. I wish I was like him. Oh my God, have you ever seen such a God, such a perfect being? What's gonna happen tomorrow? What if I don't live up to it? I did it once. They all thought I was cool. What if I don't do it the next day? And you're basically creating this golden prison 
around yourself. I fell into this trap early on, trust me. Most people do, right? Again, myself, very shy, very anxious. I definitely tried to be cool most of my life. And what I noticed is even in the times where I did, it actually made things worse because it felt like luck. There was no control and who people saw wasn't the real me. This vision you have of yourself isn't actually you. So anytime you're out or it's the same people, you're like, well, I better play into this front. I better play into it. And there's this constant pressure. You can never relax. You can never enjoy yourself. It ultimately puts you in this very competitive state. This was my early seminars. I'd come up on stage and no joke, I would view you as the enemy. Now I knew you were here to see me, which is ridiculous, right? Like all of you literally come out to see me. And in my mind, I'm like, they all hate me <laughs> unless I prove them wrong. And I'd come up and it'd be this very battling energy. Now there's a nuance between being loud and battling. Okay. I'll demonstrate it really fast. This is me versus you. Hey everyone. Do you like me? Hey, am I loud? Do you like this? It's uh, at you versus, Hey everyone. How's it going? Do you like me? Do you like this? Notice the subtle shift in the tonality. One is projecting at you. One is projecting down. One has the intention to, in a way, overwhelm you, like win you over. The other one is I'm so comfortable with who I am that I'm going to just let that shine. And if you're into it, cool. And if not, all is good. So my early seminars were very attacking. It was like, like me, like me. And a lot of people fall into this trap. But once more, even if you do it well, it's not really you. Who you'd see in my old seminars, that's not really me. And when I made the shift to being like, you know what? Why am I creating this prison for myself? Why am I creating this, this front, this character? What if I just owned everything that I am and was like, hey, this is me. Take it or leave it. Everything changed. Now it does come down to the willingness to be rejected for who you are. And we don't like that. None of us want to be rejected for who we are, right? We all hear this like, Hey, put yourself out there and authenticity resonates with all. Is that true? No. no. What do people hate the most? Well, some, not all authenticity. What repels people the most more than fakeness, controversial take authenticity. People like fakeness more than authenticity, but they will never love fakeness and fakeness will destroy you inside. Authenticity means putting your heart and soul out there and being willing to take a hit where someone's like, nah, not for me. And that there is normal and natural. Meaning this is a key concept, a foundation of a lot of this. You're not meant to get along with everyone. And not everyone is meant to get along with you. Let it land. All of us here, we all have a similar interest when it comes to say self-help, right? You're all here to work on yourselves, better yourselves. You see this road to self-improvement and that's what brought you here. So we're all on the same page there, but let's just say we were to talk about our favorite movies. Are we all going to agree? No. Do we all have the same favorite movie? Yes or no? No. no. If all of us here, we started talking to each other, like say it was a speed dating, like one minute each, but not dating, just chat. And you had to be fully real. Are there going to be some people you resonate with? You click with more than others. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Does it mean that the people you don't click with, they are lesser people or bad people? No. no. It just means that there's this thing called natural chemistry. There's some people like, including myself, if we were just all to chill, some of you, I'd like you more than others. Now it doesn't mean that I respect you more than others. It just, I respect you all. It just means, Hey, we just click a little bit more. And that's the thing. Humans were all equal, but we are all different and you will never meet a single human. You will agree with all the time. Just think of your family. That's the most foundational argument, right? You're like, well, if there was one human I'd agree with the most, they'd have to go through the same social conditioning as me. Well, what about your siblings? Sure. There's some differences, but overall there's not a single human alive that hasn't gone through, let's just say a similar conditioning as your, your siblings. 
you get along with your siblings perfectly? No. Someone's like, yes, we've never argued. No. You're like, oh, my sibling. Oh. Well, that's out of all the humans alive, the person has the most similar conditioning to you. So it's impossible. Everyone disagrees, and that's natural. The more you hang on to this lie that everyone has to like me, it's so bad to not be liked, you're screwed. So even for you, it comes down to saying, hey, this is me. You don't like it. That's natural. That's good. And this is the thing. The day you are liked by everyone is the day you are the most fake person alive. That's when you are a social chameleon. Meaning, what's your favorite movie? <laughs> That's a scary one. Um, the Own greatest it. Showman. The Greatest Showman. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me too. No way. Me too. Hugh Jackman, <laughs> Zac Efron. This is my favorite movie. What's your favorite movie? I really don't have one. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Um, Back to the Future. <gasps> me too. Now, you just witnessed that. What do you think of me? You fake little shit. Like, you're just, do you take me seriously? Like, if I told you, hey, so here's my, f no, you're just like, ugh. Yeah, that's what we do with people. We walk out as these people pleasers trying to please everyone we talk to, even depending on the environment. You might hang with your music friends and you're like, I'm now the music, Manu. Oh, you like that band? Me too. Talk to your work friends, ugh, screw that band. <laughs> yeah, screw that band. You're trying to, f no. Be you at a core. It really comes down to that. Just that shift alone, in terms of just confidence and anxiety, absolute game changer, because now you have nothing to hide. And that's one of the things. Anxiety, and we will talk about this, it comes down to being triggered, trauma, so on and so forth. But another model to view this through is, you experience anxiety when you have something to hide. When you're afraid that people will see through who you present yourself to be, and see some kind of incongruency. That's when there's anxiety. It's like, I'm hiding this. Huh, yeah, I'm doing great, I'm doing great. If you were to just own it, say, you know what, I'm not. You have nothing to hide, you just put it out there. And that's what people resonate with. And nowadays, that is extremely valuable. Why, because everyone's fake. Authenticity is this breath of fresh air. It can be shocking. Guaranteed, I sensed it. Some of you were shocked when I just rocked up here and there was no warm up. I'm here! I don't have to warm up for this, that's just me. I can be loud! I can sweat and wipe it off and just, <sighs> that's me! Most people can't do that. And it's a little shocking at first. You're like, <gasps> so raw. <laughs> just, oh, it's so wet too. <laughs> yeah. What are we talking about? Ooh, something. Well, guess what? That vibe you can all summon. No techniques will get you there. No mindset shifts will get you there. True, deep inner work will get you there. I tried the mindset shifts, I tried the techniques, but ultimately, what does it do? do? It leads you to what you're doing. The perfect persona, the golden prison. Now. We're gonna go a lot deeper. And one little side note with these events, this is a free event, meaning that there is no structure. Literally what you're seeing right here is me improvising in the moment. I do have some bullets and some notes, but this whole last segment here, I had no idea I was gonna talk about this until you <laughs> <laughs> spoke up. Now, little side note, question for you. Why is it that I can just flow like this? Could any of you flow like this? Could you flow like this? Sometimes. Not Stand up, give a 30 minute flow. 30 second flow, go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to speak in Schweizerdeutsch, because English is... Do it in a... <laughs> own it, uh, Own it in English. And you don't have to... Just own it in English. Even if there's an accent, own it. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Stefan. Um, it's a nice feeling to be in front of you. So. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at this. You're, it's a nice feeling. It's yeah. a nice feeling. 
It's a nice feeling because uh, it's the first time, so I'm always for now, new experience. I didn't want to do this, but yeah, please, yeah, give me. <laughs> we were talking about fake fronts, meaning if you're nervous up here, what's so bad about saying you're nervous? Why do you have to say it's a nice feeling when it clearly isn't? Mm -hmm. Unless you, you're just this little pervert, like spank me, daddy, <laughs> spank me. <laughs> Unless you're this pervert, this is not you like having a nice feeling. This is you like, oh shit, shit, that's so nice up here. I love it. So I kind, kind of enjoy it. Um, I, feel I, I, kind of. I feel it, really. Yeah, it's nice, you like it? But uh, yeah, sometimes I like the feeling of nervousness. Yeah, the like, spank of nervousness. Yeah, sometimes I need this to feel like I'm Bad, alive. naughty boy. And Spank, oh, the pain makes me feel alive. Fight club, baby, fight club. So any question about me? I don't know what to say. Maybe, now, what if you were to honor, mm -hmm. and this may sound cheesy, okay. that inner child inside? That inner child right now that isn't thinking this is so splendid. Okay. Or you'd be feeling very at ease. Mm -hmm. Now, this here, this is, again, all improv. We're going to get in some content. But although this seems good, hey, if you're nervous, just put on a confident face. Externally, it might give you some laughs, as you saw. But internally, what are you doing? You are abusing your inner child. Your inner child who's nervous, who's creating this, like, oh, good, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, it feels good to abuse your inner child. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why you're at this seminar. That clearly didn't work, or you wouldn't be here. Right? So, what about listening to it? What if that inner child inside is like, oh no, this is triggering. It's reminding me of this experience. I can't. Why don't you just listen and say, hey, I'm here for you. I'm going to own it and be like, you know what? Julian, I'm pretty nervous right now, and this doesn't feel too good. What's so bad about saying that? Why do you have to please me? Why do you have to please them? They're strangers. Screw them. Doesn't matter what they think. So yeah, it feels good. That like that's the thing. Are they more important, or is that inner you more important? Yeah, it's about me, yeah. Yeah, so why are you trying to impress them? Like literally, if you think of true self-love, it means your own well-being comes first. Meaning, if that, again, any of you aren't that into spiritual work, that inner child, just go with it, or inner you, or core you, is that more important than anyone else's approval? Yeah, that's a relationship with you. Yet it's crazy how we're like, and again, it is normal to experience pressure in front of this environment, but you're like, the crowd is more important. I'm gonna sacrifice what's going on in here for them. No. I'm gonna sacrifice for my boss, for my friends, for my family, for my partner, for social media. What about, no, this first. And if they don't like it, all is good. You're not gonna die. You're in Switzerland, you're safe. <laughs> like the worst that'll happen is some people might say, Pfft. but then again, if they do say that, more often than not, the majority of them, it's because it triggers something inside of them and they resonate with you, but they can't take that first step either. And this is also redefining what it means to be cool. It means authentic. Own everything that is you. You're shy, own it. Be the most, like, the confident, shy person there is. You're anxious, be like, yes, I'm so anxious. You're sad, yes, I'm sad. That's what it means. What's that little voice saying? I was listening and it makes sense. So um, I appreciate mm -hmm. your um, words and... What's that inner child saying? Inner child. So I feel like shaky. Mm -hmm. So my legs, the hands, so... What's it saying yet. in your head? What's that voice saying? If you think that inner me, that younger me. Um, Do you remember a time where you first started experiencing the shakiness? Not really, no. So. So you were born, like, out of your mom? <laughs> no. I can't remember. So. Try. So first time, I don't know. So. Were you cool in school? Yeah, super cool. <laughs> primary school. <laughs> primary school. Primary school, yeah. And after primary school, I don't know. I had, like, so, okay. 
was like not so social, more at home. So uh, when was the shift between cool primary school you and you now? So sorry again, please. You been very cool in primary school mm -hmm. and this. When did it change? I was not thinking so much, so just fun and be. Okay. Well, try to think. When did it change? When did when? you turn into such a shy, anxious person? Um, after primary school, I think. What happened? So, good question. Never asked yeah. me this question. So, well, I'm excited that. for the answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the answer? <laughs> Maybe I need to go more out, socialize. So I think it's like. Try to guess the age. Yeah. You, cool, expressive primary school. Mm -hmm. Something happened, and now you're this. And this is not cool and expressive. What happened? Ooh, now we're trying to yeah, dive a little I'm deeper. Thinking like, Good. Okay, is there something maybe? Um, you have a general idea. It's okay to put it out. Don't people, please. What will they think of me? Will I still be as cool if I tell the truth? What do we talk about? Screw them. Maybe something about the... No, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe it was something... No, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so now I feel... Um, yeah, one reason maybe was... No, maybe! <laughs> <laughs> so being okay with girls, so in primary school, so my friends all had some experience, a few, me not, and that's why I was like, okay, well, they are above me, ahead of me, so... There we go. Yeah, maybe... <laughs> now, first of all, give him a hand for the authenticity. Okay. For you, take this in, because this is the opposite of what you'll see out there, validated for being real, devalidated for being fake. What was so scary about saying that? It was there. Now, in hindsight, you're like, well, yeah, of course. Why, what was so scary about saying that? Mm -hmm. What if now, OK, everyone knows, oh, in primary school, <laughs> he wasn't good with women. Why is that so scary or bad? So what? Yeah, so well, yeah. <laughs> Notice how I'm like, hey, when I started out, Switzerland, putting myself out there, I was very shy. What if I was like, oh, they can't know I was shy? What if they knew that in the past I was shy? Funny enough, by saying that, it probably gets them to connect with you a lot more. Because that's the illusion of cool, too. We think everyone connects with, look how amazing I am. But no. We like, and that's why all of you resonate with behind the scenes. Even in a movie, the actor's like, what are they really like? Oh, an embarrassing moment? Because it makes a human. They're like, oh, they're like me. I can actually connect. I can see myself in that. Even here, all of us have many different insecurities, but you're like, wow, him owning his insecurity? Wow, look at that. No fakeness? That's gold, especially nowadays. Everyone's putting on a mask. Seeing realness is a breath of fresh air, and it is extremely valuable, even if that realness is owning and putting out a certain insecurity. Now, here you got a reference. It won't get to the cause, but externally, and remember this, that you didn't die. Because that's what that voice says. If they know in primary school that you were not all that compared to your friends, you will explode. Look, nothing happened. How does it feel to just be acknowledged? And look, people are smiling. Look at that. There's a smile. Like, they're taking it. They're like, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's that voice saying? Final thing. What's it saying? Now, so the difference between now and before, now it feels much better. Really? Um, so now pause. Can you notice even in his demeanor? Yes, there's a little bit of the hand, but it is a little bit more relaxed. Yeah. No. Yeah. Now, why is it more relaxed? We just talked about it. Anxiety. Something to hide. There's a little less to hide. Now it's out there. 
a oh, little weight off your shoulder. Now, great job turning the mirror around to all of you in your head. What are you all hiding? If there's some pressure here, friends, family, work, it's all that pressure on your shoulders. What are you hiding? Can you perhaps put it out there and just own it? Now, there is also just social awareness and intelligence. Like if you go to your boss and you're like, out of the blue, did you know in primary school? <laughs> like, <laughs> there are things that are not necessarily appropriate to different contexts. But, so, so be smart about it. But overall, just knowing like, you know what? If my boss were to ask me, I could tell the truth. That's the thing is you have the choice where if the option's there, you'd feel comfortable saying it versus if the option's there, I would never say it. Any last words? Thank you very much. Give him a hand, Thanks. everybody. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, right, bring it in. Thanks. Have a seat, have a seat.